Cincinnati is the host for the Junior Olympic Women's National Gymnastics Championships starting tomorrow in the Duke Energy Center. As recently as March, it looked like there was no way Adriana Bustella would compete. You have to qualify for state first, and she had just had wrist surgery. Ali Cohen with the story of a Cincinnati Gymnastics Academy comeback that could have a payoff that lasts a lifetime. Some people are just wired to perform under maximum pressure. Mason sophomore Adriana Bustello is one of those people. I felt like I was in attack mode. I was like, I need to, this is the only option. Adriana missed the first five meets. She had one last chance, one last regular season meet to qualify to states. And she was ready, like just in the nick of time, to do all four of her events. Bustello will compete in the Women's Gymnastics Junior Olympic National Championships the second weekend in May just six months after having surgery to remove a growth plate in her wrist that was growing too fast. In this sport, it is tough. You, it's a longer timeline than maybe some other athletes because of the way the sport is. They treat their hands like ankles and they're not designed to be used like that. Nationals provides exposure for potential collegiate scholarship offers and she needed to be there. She needed to qualify first and had just one month to prepare for the one meet that could land her a spot at state and then regionals and then nationals. It was hurting just so bad. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to come back. Doctors thought she might be able to return in time, but told her she wouldn't be able to compete in all four events. Not only did she qualify, but she will participate in each event, the vault, uneven bars, balance beam and floor. I remember my mom would tell me, um, like, you can do it, you can make qualified nationals. I'd be like, no, there's no way. And then it just kind of clicked. I was like, maybe I can make it to nationals. Maybe it's possible. It takes a lot of character and a lot of integrity to come back from something like this. The wires that allow Bustello to do the improbable aren't the ones that come in the stranded, solid, or braided forms. But if they were, the stranded would be at work. The flexible ones that can endure reshaping, used for bending or twisting. They don't break or fatigue. We have this tradition of putting our fears on a balloon and letting them go the day before. And yeah, I'm gonna probably do that at home since it's not gonna be a team thing this time. Oh yeah, at home. One of the sites for nationals this year, Cincinnati. Allie Cohen, Local 12 Sports.